Am I the a-hole for calling out my dad and stepdad? I, 16 female, have a twin brother, Cody, I do cheer and Cody does sports, we do these activities because we enjoy them but Cody also puts in a lot of effort because he's constantly seeking approval from our dad and stepdad, the two don't care for each other, but are somehow the best of friends when it comes to Cody's sports, he does like five different ones because our dad likes hockey and lacrosse while our stepdad prefers football and basketball they both enjoy baseball, if he ever dares to quit a single one, one of them will throw a riot or accuse him of playing favorites. It's so dumb, sometimes Cody's schedules clash or get so overwhelming to the point where he'll lay on his bedroom floor for hours and dissociate, it's been like this since he was like 10, my mom and stepmom think it's just men being men and that boys enjoy sports so Cody probably doesn't care but like there's a limit to everything right? We were having a celebratory lunch for our older sister before she leaves for college and both sides were there, the lunch ended at 2pm and our sister asked if we wanted to go them all, I said yes and Cody was clearly going to say yes but our dad said he had baseball practice, Cody tried asking if he could sit out one day since he hasn't missed a single practice of anything in his life but our stepdad joined our dad's practice makes perfect speech and backed out, they then tried using me as an example. Oh Ashley's never missed a day of practice and look at her. Medals and trophies for days, I thought this was ridiculous, I've missed plenty of practices and Cody has more awards than me, I asked them if they were being serious and told them what I just mentioned, my dad kept telling me to be quiet but I called him and my stepdad losers that need to realize that Cody is a human being with limits, not a doll they can program or play with. Both of them were very embarrassed, my dad told me that I was being very disrespectful, my mom joined in and said I was reading too much into the whole thing and that they're men and I simply won't get their dynamics, I call bullshit but they're all saying I'm in the wrong and need to apologize, my sister agrees with me but says I was disrespectful, Cody doesn't want to talk about it, am I the a-hole? Just to make it clear, the practice was an informal one, think of it as extra credit to strengthen specific skills. Update, am I the a-hole for calling out my dad and stepdad? Wow people I had no idea my post was gonna get so big, but I'm extremely appreciative of all the comments, some were incredibly kind but some were really blunt, especially regarding my brother Cody, I read them all, so like I said, I called my grandma, I told her everything and she was mad, she told me that I did a good job telling off my parents and that she's glad I told her. In the meantime, my mom finally realized that something was wrong and called me while I was out to tell me that there was something wrong with Cody, from what she described, he was doing his dissociating thing, I was kind of upset that this was her first time seeing him in this state considering I've seen it many times but maybe after what I said, she'd been paying more attention to him. Then my grandma arrived and she made my mom bring everyone over, dad, stepmom, stepdad, and she really gave it to them, she told them if they didn't get their priorities straight then she'd be taking me and Cody, she also made it very clear to my mom and stepmom that there is a guy thing thinking was shameful, mom felt guilty but my stepdad and dad threw a fuss, mom then yelled at them and told them what she saw, that shut them up, I don't know it was crazy to see my parents being scolded like they were little kids but since they didn't want to hear it from me, well. My mom then talked to Cody who like a lot of you said, didn't want to quit any sport because this whole thing is so ingrained in him but mom put her foot down and told him that she was so sorry for letting this go on for so long but he has to quit at least one sport, Cody said some harsh things back but they resolved it thanks to grandma, he's now only doing hockey and baseball, he was too afraid to tell our dad so my mom told them instead and they reacted, okay, stepdad said at least he's not quitting all of them but shut up after my mom glared at him. This whole situation was really something and it's crazy to think I triggered it, I felt sort of guilty for a while but reading everyone's harsh but very true comments knocked some sense into me, Cody has no identity, he doesn't have a favorite song, movie etc, it is now my mission to help him figure himself out, hopefully he gets therapy but the parents are too busy fighting over whose fault this is, maybe I'll call grandma again lol. I just showed Cody this post and he was also thankful for the support, so yeah thanks guys and I'm glad I posted on here.